Mr. Muslim, uh, last night, U.S. and a coalition uh, partners started to uh, launch airstrikes against ISIS targets in Syria, mainly in Raqqa, which considered the center of uh, the organization. So, as PYD, how do you, uh, what do you think about these attacks? Uh, well, uh, our party and uh, myself, we welcome uh, this kind of strikes against the those uh, brutals, which they are enemy of all the humanitarian values. Also, we would like, as a PYD, and uh, our Kurdish forces, like YPG, we would like to be a part of this coalition against uh, this uh, ISIS, and especially because we are fighting those uh, since one and a half years, and our armed forces are experienced in fighting with them. So uh, we are ready to be a part of this uh, coalition against them. Uh, but why, at one point I would like to just uh, remind uh, the people, airstrikes, they were in Raqqa and uh, Raqqa province mainly, uh, but Kobani is still surrounded. And there are many Abrams tanks and T-72 tanks They're still uh, in the villages and still they are threatening the, uh, those uh, civilians. And uh, just uh, uh, a few minutes ago, I had uh, talked to the people over there. Uh, very hard fighting is still going on, especially in the southern front of Kobani, about uh, okay. 50 kilometers from Kobani, yes. Sorry, I, uh, I would like to ask, I to ask you that question, but you uh, answered before. So, the sources we spoke also say the same thing, that there has not been any attacks uh, around the ISIS targets, around Kobani. So, why is this? Is this lack of intelligence from the uh, American side, that they uh, they don't know intelligence about the targets? Or you also mentioned about that you want to be uh, part of this or, uh, operation too. Has not there been any contact with PYD? or uh, with the forces on the ground, uh, especially YPG now, everybody considers the most effective force against ISIS. What is the reason for that? Maybe there are some uh, lack of coordination between the people on the ground and the people fighting over there. And uh, when I talk to the people in Kobani and uh, the other, other Kurds in other places. Uh, all the Kurds are, are happy about these strikes and they welcome these strikes. So it's very positive action, operation, just uh, for the Kurdish people because uh, they f really uh, feel that uh, they are not alone in this fighting against uh, ISIS till now. And they think in future if we have a good coordination, maybe it will uh, uh, ease uh, the fighting against those ones, uh, as I mentioned. I mean, these strikes can be completed with... Uh, on the ground, the uh, people fighting against uh, ISIS, uh, it will be better, I think. I just want to uh, return to Kobani. Considering the, the critical situation, you several times made appeal to the international community about the people in uh, Kobani. So, why is it important at this moment that ISIS targets around Kobani is also attacked? Yes, because uh, those tanks, uh, they are attacking Kobani, it's mainly Abrams and uh, T-72, which is YPG's uh, classic weapons, cannot do anything with them. They cannot uh, destroy them, they cannot harm them. So uh, sometimes our YPG members, they need to to sacrifice themselves, I mean, to attack just to explode themselves with uh, these tanks. So, um, And those tanks now, they are between the villages. Uh, I mean, maybe the other places, they can consider the villages were emptied. But our people in Kobani they didn't empty their villages. They are still in the villages, and those are in the tanks. They cannot uh, come out of those tanks and these vehicles, hammers, because uh, uh, people are around them. When they just come down, uh, they are fighting against them. So because of that, uh, their cars, their Humvees, and their tanks is uh, uh, between the villages and around Kobani, about 15 kilometers, and sometimes they are about 10 kilometers near Kobani, and they're just uh, shelling the civilians. So uh, there should be something done uh, against uh, those tanks and those vehicles over there. Uh, because of that, we said the importance, because they are shelling. I mean, they are uh, between the villages, between the, the, the civilians, and they can uh, massacre those people any time. We are afraid of these uh, massacres against the people. 
Uh, last question, Mr. Tarr. In 50 minutes, uh, President Obama is scheduled to give a statement about these attacks. So, what do you expect from his uh, statement, uh, especially about in regards to Kurds in Syria? Uh, what we are expecting, I mean, uh, to announce more coordination with the uh, uh, democratic forces, the actual democracy uh, defending forces, which is uh, YPG, uh, and to mention the uh, system we have established in our areas, because we have established this democratic system because of this democracy and the uh, uh, this uh, social contract and so which we are implementing in our areas, uh, it made our area a target for those uh, brutals and for the others also. But we expect them to mention this uh, model we have established in Rojava as a model for Syria. Because